here at the Iron Pigs with Josh Martin. He's new with us, came over from Columbus. Uh, so you ready for a new start with the Iron Pigs? I am. You know, we, I was just telling some guys earlier, this is an exciting place to be. I mean, we got a, a really good team. I mean, there's some f fantastic players here. Um, and then it's a good organization to be with uh, from the top down, especially with the fans, the with the fans, the stadium. It's, you can't really, there's not much to complain about here. Yeah, the big big league team might be pretty good this year too. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're definitely a, a team to be reckoned with. Um, and, but it's fun for us too because um, they're going to need some help at some point. And that, you know, for us, that's fun to step in and say, you know, we want to put our name on that team as well because they're going to do big things. And so you want to name for that. And, and it's not your first time here. You were here as a visiting player with Columbus a couple times. Is that right? Yes, yeah. yeah I faced, uh, we faced here about the past three years. So I've been here three or four different times. And um, so I've, I've seen the crowds. I've seen the team. And we're usually, you know, having them. Columbus kind of, has good crowds. Too. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, here it's, you know, we're worried about this team because this lineup, especially facing yeah, like Cousins and, and Reese and, uh, and Mitch when they come through here. So now it's fun to actually be on this side of things. I don't have to worry about those bats. You had pretty good success, though. I did pull some game logs. I thought I thought you did well here. Do you remember that, or you just all it all blurs together? I do. I actually told Mitch that one of the bats I had against him last year was like the most mad I've ever been because I let him get away from me and walk and I walked him and I was like, gosh, man, I, I had him for sure. But no, it's a, no, it's good. Yeah. Now you now also on Columbus last year, Brantley was on that team too. Is that right? Uh, yes, he was, and that was fun when I got here um, in spring training and I looked I looked across the locker room. I was like, hey, what's up, man? So it was good. So, we were, so he brought you. Or you brought him? Oh, I brought him along. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah that's one of my stipulations here when I signed. I was like, hey, you know, Brantley's got to catch me. So. Well, I heard he can pitch too. Hey, he had quite a few innings for us last year. The, a couple of balls didn't stay in the ballpark like you wanted to, but he, he has got quite a few innings. Yeah. No, some of those innings were here, so that's that's kind of how I remember. But no, I don't think we give up. I'll call it a one hitter. <laughs> I think he gave up one hit. So so that's pretty cool. Um, the uh, do you have any any pitching tips for Brantley? If I talk to him later, anything I can tell him? Hey man, we try to tell him just keep the ball down. When he leaves that thing up, that's when the thing goes 450 feet. But he he tends to like to pitch at the top of his zone, like he's a high spin rate guy. But you know, <laughs> didn't work out. Sometimes I look at the pictures that come back from spring training. Cheryl's down there taking pictures, and we see those. And then guys come here, and then somehow they look different. Like they grow a beard at spring training, and then they come here and they shave. You're you're a beard all the time, guy, right? Oh yeah, I'm. I've had it for the past couple of years now. Uh, ever since when I was with the Indians, they finally let us have facial hair, and I, was, I, I fully embodied it. My wife enjoys it, so I like it, so I keep it. Um, but before I got here, they told me how to cut it down. So we had to cut about four, four and a half inches off of it. So it was, it was getting pretty long, pretty burly there. <laughs> um, last question is kind of on a, one of the fun ones from today. In the majors, they have players weekend. You get to put your nickname on the back of your jersey. If we had that here, what would you put on the back of your jersey? I, I, so one of the names I had in the early minor league years was, was Hodor, if you know anything about Game of Thrones, yeah. really, just because I'm just big and goofy all, right. all the time. So Hodor was one of the names, but that or J-Mart. So. J-Mart is what I wrote down. In case you couldn't come up with anything, I was going to give you one. <laughs> Jay March is usually what I, I grew up with my parents and everything. They, they called me that growing up. So, But uh, Hodor is something I kind of embodied fully at the lower levels. All right. Thanks a lot and good luck this year. All right.